Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. While doing a quick experiment, I'm going to see if I can build myself a uh, dummy diesel locomotive. So I've got these two trucks that came in the mail, I don't know, several weeks ago now. I've got this 8351 shell, and as you see, it is just completely hollow. It's a big hollow shell. Anyway, there's no uh, simple way to mount these trucks onto that shell. However, since there's holes here, we can do this and run screws down through it. And as you see, we have a diesel locomotive. So it's just a matter of getting everything lined up, mounted, drilling the holes. This one can center directly in the center of this. I assume this is a turbine cooling fan. I'll have to drill an additional hole here or put a cross piece in it. Haven't decided yet, but as you see, it would make a fairly effective diesel locomotive out of a bunch of junk parts. It'd be a dummy, of course, but you put a, a coupler on both ends, you can run it as rolling stock, or you could run it behind a, uh, another uh, diesel locomotive. In any case, just looking for stuff that I can build out of the uh, uh, myriad of parts that I have. More parts coming, and uh, I have a new locomotive that is due in the next few days. Another Christmas gift from Robin, a uh, 10,005 with its original cars, all articulated, of course. So I'll be doing an unboxing video on that as soon as they arrive. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video on a uh, what appears to be a rather simple way to build a dummy locomotive out of just a bunch of parts. Like I said, since these are hollow, I can put inserts in them. This is just copper tubing and adjust its height and then run a screw straight down through it, which will hold the uh, shell in place, but will also allow the trucks to pivot. So they'd be mounted directly to the shell with long screws, of course. But as you see, once it's mounted, you have essentially a uh, diesel locomotive. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. It'll be simple to do it. Whether I'm going to or not, I'm not really sure. I've got to look at uh, all the alternatives to mounting this shell. But as you see, this would work by itself. It already looks like a diesel locomotive. And uh, it's just uh, a couple of trucks in the uh, empty shell, of course. Anyway, you add a front coupler to this. It already has a rear one. You add a front coupler to this. You could definitely run this as rolling stock. It would look like a diesel locomotive, no doubt. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. I'll be doing a, a follow-up depending on uh, how I decide to do it. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, Feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.